Good day, fellow learners. This is your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapus, joining you for another teaching and learning session this time around. This is set number 46 for our next generation NCLEX RN pointers. And even if I look like I'm a floating head with my off white shirt. <laughs> okay, anyway, before we begin, I'd like to ask for your kind-hearted support to join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide free NCLEX RN application and review to 100 nurses. We've done this in the past two years. We'd like to do this again to enable our less fortunate brothers and sisters in the healthcare profession to have an equal chance at elevating their practice and their career. So to help us achieve this goal, just watch and finish the ads in our videos. It's that simple no other special request just for you to finish the ads in our video so thank you for doing that in advance so without further ado here's pointer set number 46. so once again to answer the number one question what do i need to study at this point in time when you're preparing for the nclex well the first concept my first pick actually is respiratory alkalosis. Now, we know for a fact that respiratory alkalosis is a form of acid-base imbalance characterized by an elevated pH. The normal pH of the blood is 7.35 to 7.45. And in respiratory alkalosis, the pH is more than 7.45. Now, what occurs with the elevated pH is actually a decrease in the arterial levels of carbon dioxide. The normal is 35 to 45. So in respiratory alkalosis, the carbon dioxide level in the arteries will be less than 35. Now, what causes respiratory alkalosis? It could be related to stress. And if you are observant enough, you would notice that when you are under stress, you tend to hyperventilate. So when you are hyperventilating, you're losing more carbon dioxide. Therefore, there's gonna be less that combines with water to form your carbonic acid. So in, in essence, the result would be an alkalotic state. So here's a functional concept. Manifestations of respiratory alkalosis includes the following, syncope and seizure, tachycardia, anxiety, restlessness, and lightheadedness, and numbness, okay? So remember the code STARLIGHT. It's actually STARLIGHT headedness and numbness. So when you see this group of symptoms, think about respiratory alkalosis. So when a patient is in this state, meaning a respiratory alkalotic state, what should be our priority intervention? Ask the patient to breathe through a paper bag so they can reabsorb the carbon dioxide and eventually normalize it. Okay, so here's the good news from Mami Lors. And she says, So Ray, good morning po. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng encouragement at inspiration. I finally passed my NCLEX RN exam. So she initially said, thank you for all the encouragement and inspiration because she finally passed her exam. I took the test last Tuesday, April 16. That's just a couple of days ago. 2024 and found out today, April 19, I passed. Thank, thanks be to God, okay? LVN for 20 years, RN, finally, OMG. So she's a licensed vocational nurse for 20 years. Salamat po, sir, sa guidance nyo at sa lahat ng RAG-RS staff. I attended the boot camp last January 8 to 20, 2024 in Baguio City. It really helped me a lot since I was already out of school since 1993 which simply means, again, sir, maraming salamat po ulit. Proud to be a Gapos baby from my local board. She took the test in 1994. Wow! That's the founding year of the Ray Gapos system, and that was in the northern part of the country, in Pangasinan, Philippines. We only started the company with three students, and now we're catering to nurses in more than 30 countries worldwide. Thank you, Lord, for, for this very, very kind blessing. And to serve Mami Lors, who initially joined us in 1994, and 30 years after, she joined us again in Passer, and Plex R, and still with the system. So she says, I wish you good health, sir, and more years to live para marami po kayo matulungan na aspiring USR. And sign of the poco, Lori Lee Garces, BSN RN USR. And so she simply said, I just hope and pray that God gives you good health so you can still help more aspiring nurses to become USRNs. Thank you so much, Mami Lors, Ms. Lori Lee Carses. 
And she's an original Gapos baby way back in 1994. She flew all the way from the U.S. to join my boot camp here in the Philippines. So if you are in the same shoes as Mommy Loris, come join me. The next boot camp will be in July. Just log on to our website or send us an email, which I'm going to share with you after my presentation in today's session number 46. Okay. Now, my second pick for this week is actually your mixed edema coma. This is a complication of your hypothyroidism. Now, we have here a picture that is very reflective of the main sign of mixed edema coma. You would notice that there's non-pitting edema, okay, that occurs in the extremities of the client, as well as there's also fluid retention in the abdominal area. And if you would notice, the edema also extends into the upper part of the body. This is actually um, manifested also as an expressionless face. Now, pay particular attention to the fact that even if we have a male in the picture, mixed edema coma is more common in women than in men. Now, what's the outstanding manifestation of mixed edema aside from um, the signs and symptoms that comes with hypothyroidism, like, like cold intolerance, okay, physical and mental slowness, dry skin, and of course, hoarse voice. And definitely, in mixed edema coma, everything is down except for the menstruation in females. So there's going to be like excessive menstrual flow or menorrhagia. Now, in a client with mixed edema coma, since the main problem is muscle weakness, if you will be asked what should be your priority in terms of the treatment, we know for a fact that your T3 and T4 supplement should be given, your lyothyronine and your tyroxine. And these two could help um, bring back the balance in the hor thyroid hormone of the client. However, since the client will need some push in terms of the functioning of the muscles, including the diaphragm, the muscles that they will use for breathing, it's important, according to the American Thyroid Association, that they also receive glucocorticoids. That is, in order to enable or to strengthen the muscles to function properly as they wait for further um, ruling out of other comorbidities associated with mixed edema coma, okay? Because sometimes clients with these conditions could also suffer from other um, endocrine disorders. So it's very important to take note that we first have to enhance the functioning of the muscles. So we begin with the administration of um, steroids, and then the thyroid supplements. So remember the sequence, okay? So I'd like to ask you to go through all this list of passages that we have from all around the world, more than 33 countries worldwide trust our system, and there have been more and more and more of these nurses who are passing the test through our system. Now, my third pick is your meter dose inhaler. Now, the reason why a spacer is now being advocated for use in clients with meter dose inhaler because the use of meter dose inhaler increases the risk for oral candidiasis. And that is manifested by the presence of whitish deposits in the mouth of the client. And so to prevent that from happening, you need to instruct the client to adopt the swish and spit method after using a meter dose inhaler. So what we tell our clients when they're using meter dose inhaler first is to shake the canister well and then prime by pressing down and activating a practice dose and then insert the canister into the mouth or spacer to reduce the amount of drug deposited on the back of the throat. Then breathe out and hold spacer between lips making a seal activate the meter dose inhaler and take deep, slow inhalation. Now, focus on step number six. Hold breath briefly, meaning for at least 10 seconds and slowly exhale through the nose. Once again, exhale through the nose. Hold breath for 10 seconds, exhale through the nose. Remember step number six. And don't forget, swish and spit method after using the spacer in order 
to prevent the development of your fungal infection, your oral candidiasis. And the second rule, learn how to study with technology because even if you know your concepts, if you don't know how to navigate technology, you're in a big surprise when you take the test. So here at the Ray Gapo system, we have tools that have been published by well-known international publishers. And in fact, I asked one of our passers, did our quick fix help you? And she says, absolutely, poster. I actually attended four quick fix sessions. Now one quick fix session is like 24 hours conducted in three days and it's being done by yours truly. You know what? If you are enrolling in a program that, carries a brand name, you should see that person teaching you. At the Ray Gapo system, Ray Gapo myself will teach you, okay? And this is what she says, Grabe ka sir, ang galing. No words can really express how your review system helped us. It was an amazing experience. Again, thank you, doctor. You're the best. God bless you more. Paul. What she's saying is the Ray Gapo system is an amazing system in its Excellent. So no words can really express how grateful she is for being a part of the system. And what are you waiting for? You should be next. So if you may want also to use our course shells, it's now um, being um, offered at a lower rate so that more and more nurses can subscribe from around the world. And the third requirement to pass the NGN is for you to be in a conducive environment. So look at our NGN simulator and our classes are really, really very comfortable. It's usually being done in hotels and I teach the nurses personally. And the most important thing that you have to remember, we don't overload our face-to-face -face classes. If you want to learn, nurses from the Philippines and from the rest of Asian countries don't learn from Western tools. They learn from face-to-face -face instruction. So we do face-to-face -face instruction to those who need it at the Ray Gapo system, although we also offer our online services. So we invite you, if you want to avail of our next generation NCLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test prep class for the next NCLEX RN. Your choice of live face-to-face -face class, live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, QBank and three books, your NGN strategies and sample questions by Dr. Ray Gapos. And of course, you can attend my quick fix sessions on an unlimited basis. So the fee starts at 3499 Give us a call at the phone number below or send us an email at info at ragapsreview.com or once again through the phone 0906 201 That's 0906 201 Eight, three. So this has been your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapus at your service. Call me anytime before your test. I'd be more than willing to mentor you. Bye, next gen passer. See you in my class.